Hello, and welcome to... Welcome to Tales of Hysteria. Um... Let's get right into it. Alright, so... We're approaching the end game, I think. Hard to tell. We'll have event. to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit? Chill? Really? Chill? We're gonna Netflix and chill? Anyway, um... Let's go to the inn. Let's listen to Rose. She seems smart. Anything we can give this lord of the land? Can we offer them? Um, actually, let's actually take. Th um, we want to offer them. Hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, you will be hearing some chat noises. While I'm playing, because I am chatting with people while I play. That's just uh, how I roll. Okay, so Sage. Let's just get rid of five of those. Those. Huh, okay. I just need 25 more to get some good grade in here. Um, That's enough of messing around with, uh, with that. Um, hmm, what do I want? Mabo curry bun. possible to just not have enough money to play the game. Like if you lose so much money that um, like you can lose so much money that you can't even pay for a night at the inn and then you can't uh, you can't progress any further. advance the plot a little bit. Talk to Rose and see first Rose needs to exit. Okay, so we have to scope out the town. How do we do that? Wait, wrong way. Maybe 
back here. Is there anything down here? Let's go check out the fountain. Maybe there's something there. Um, Alright. Nothing there. Oh, something here apparently. That's why I was guiding me this well, way. Well, if it ain't the boss! Welcome, welcome! Lenar! But you look like a Hellion! That's because <laughs> I am a Hellion. Oh, oh dear, look at that face. You're scaring me, boss. We don't have time to toy with the likes of you. Come on, I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger. It makes me so hungry. Here he comes. The malevolence he emits is incredibly strong. You mean it's just like with the Cardinal before? Don't think about anything else until we beat it. Got it. <laughs> I want to become stronger as a seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard. Um, anyway, let's see what he has to say. But, oh, out of here. Damn it! Still not enough? It's the end of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! Nope, the power of purification was what not enough. What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <laughs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the? Attack! Well, this just got... Uh... Or you'll lose him, girl. Surely you won't let him get away with such a vile betrayal. Then that so-called job offer... It was a trap! Damn it! Quit messing around and show yourself! <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. This is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead! Which way did they go? Dazzle. Do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? Probably going the wrong I way. I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? Okay, I'm going the right way. I mean, there's no time limit for this. I can just do whatever I want and screw around. Enough, all right? Come on! Let me out! His will is not to be ignored. To a... Lunar! Die! If 
forget who Lunar is. Yeah. What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe for both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Windriders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dezel? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? <laughs> splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Dezel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Dazzle, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade, this Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Windriders as an assassin's guild. Then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <gasps> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! Oh, shut up, Dazzle. That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here. I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So, you show your true colors at last. Dang it! Alright, let me just take a brief pause right here for a second. Okay, um, everything is going according to plan. Uh, everything's, um, everything's recording properly. So, we can keep. Fuse Face. Really? Fuse Face? That's her name? Fuse Face? Dear God. I'm gonna kill you! That's the only reason I live! Oh, how lost you are in the illusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. I know Think hard. What was it that you truly desired? Shut up. Back then. How and why did you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want this? Lila, get ready to purify her! Not this time. I'm gonna kill her! Dizzle! What? You mustn't! There's no other way. No! He's broken the path? Dazzle! Tisk, tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time! All right! <laughs> Again, I can manipulate the senses of others. Deceive them through illusion. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion, 
precisely. Ready but for the record, the Hellion is real. Lila, use the authority of the Prime Lord to stop Dazzle. I can't. The Sub Lord has broken the pact. Can that even be done? Not usually. It can't be done from the Sub Lord's side. My, my, this is getting interesting. Blue Flurry! Tell me what it is you're after! There's something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Seraph friend has wrought. Saint Zero! Here it goes! Saint Zero! Aim and fire! Let's drink back! Open the way forward! All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally! Finally, I can kill you! Die! Black screen of doom. I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah, I'm truly grateful. More black screen. And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Don't let up out there! Go! Prince Conan, the captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a hellion! Huh? He's engaged to Who her. are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious! It's driving me wild! It's driving me nuts, said the pirate. Y'all know that joke, right? How could he have completely turned into a Hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic. How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Wind Riders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Wind Riders are likewise under arrest. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion, have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least. If you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! He took a bullet for her. More bullets for her. Behold, this is the fruit of your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? 
angels of death. It was all my fault? All my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezel! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Dezel, don't move. Got it? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide quickly, Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! Too close! Ha! Hold it, Sarai. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? What? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sarai, listen. Dezel, don't I'm push yourself. Just hopelessly in love with you. We have to <laughs> sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepard, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Saray, <clears throat> hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength, and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond, while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand? Don't you? Yeah, get it on with it already. Jessel? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up! Seems like it's going to fail. Rose. I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? 
I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life! Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy! In fact, I'm grateful to you! Really! Hey, come on! There's gotta be more you wanna say! I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. Shut up, Dazzle. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Oh look, he has eyes. Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. It's like as if he joins our team now. I will. Because Dezel's dead. Or is dying. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell him, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give him a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Die! Yeah. Die faster! I want to play the game. All I've been doing for the past 20 minutes is watching cutscenes. <sighs> I bet there are more cutscenes Rose. come right now. Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? LIES! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable Seraph, burdened with countless sins. Also, I dress like a bondage gear all the time. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I That's suggest for multiple you make people. time to grieve. You're one person. Oh, now we get the man candy. Man candy's joining our team. Probably. Possibly. Who knows? Who cares? More cutscenes. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. You've been walking around inside my head all day. Let's go talk to some people first. So let's quick save. Uh, just to make sure that, um... Yeah, anyway, so there's like 20 minutes of cutscenes in the half hour of game that I've played so far. Uh, I'm just gonna advance the plot a little bit and then I think it'll be enough for this session. I don't like recording Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. 
I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We what? definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. So I lost all the equipment that used to be equipped on Dezel, I'm guessing. Um. Okay, so I've been able to do Mystic Arts with all armatized. So let me just check. I'm not really sure what that does. Supposed to go up there. And into the inn. Let's go into the inn later. Let's go up here now. Yes, you have an atrial fibrillation. Probably. Our friend, the creepy little girl, she said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Goddamn Boy Scout you are. Saray! All I was really trying to say is that I think Dezel was saved, in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. 
Thank you, Edna. Edna. Don't wimp out on me, Edna. I like you. Don't mention it. Now you're wimping out. I don't like you when you wimp out on me. You're usually cool. You keep seeing cool. Uh, overly emotional. Piano, music, violin, garbage. It's really not my thing. But, eh. I suppose it makes the weebs happy. Or whoever is satisfied. Excuse me, satisfied by this. Lila, what are you doing? Cat's uh, cradle. this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? With paper. Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. You're just gonna land now, on the ground. Say, let's send it off. Gravity is a thing that exists, guys. That's not how gravity works. I'm sure it reached him. It's an anti-gravity crane. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. So I found out the other day that um, the guy who voices Saray, uh, Robbie Draymond, or Damond, I believe his name is, um, he also voices Mamoru in the Sailor Moon reboot slash redub, well, reboot and redub. Crystal is the is the reboot, and uh, there's also a redub of the original uh, anime. In any case, um, yeah, he's Mamoru. So I find it really funny that he's such a childish Boy Scout, and uh, um, he's such a childish Boy, Boy Scout in Zestiria, and he plays this supposed uh, super hot hunk in uh, Sailor Moon. Um, let's quick save. Just to make sure I'm not doing anything dumb. Yeah, let's rest. Enough talking to people. Ah, uh, Zavid's Morning, wearing Saray. a top hat. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray. Oh, Zavid, you're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Your goal? We fought you. Before. Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. 
Now tell us of the five lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? Mao tells us Heldolf, is that what you're saying? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either. At first. But if Mao Tellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe. But we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain. Or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? Take that damn hat off. What do you off. believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him... I'd do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there! <laughs> What? Yeah, Why we saw the tears. Like Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. Stop mourning, Oh, Dezel. forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. Oh, he's kind I of an see. ass. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right, let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Oh. Alrighty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go! Um... Stepping. Um, Norman, health maintenance, stock preparation, or want treasure detection? I'm pretty good at detecting treasure myself. It's not like Norman, you are hiding because they're dicks. Norman are dicks. Well, they're useful, but they're also dicks. Let's go to Glavent Basin. I could fast travel there. Do I want to fast travel there? Or do I want to go to the scenic route? How much money do I have? Yeah, let's fast travel. I'm lazy. I've already leveled up pretty high, so. Whatever. You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you really do it? Oh ho ho! You doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry, jeez. We get how strong you are? But what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The Shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. 
Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. All right, then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> well, I am a well-experienced, grown-ass man, after it's all. It's like thumbing you his You know, coin. you can always count on me. Somehow I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> this is fan service for ladies, and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Um, because it's just so blatant and obvious. Like, he's thrusting his crotch out, and he's like thumbing his groin. It's pretty fantastic. Um, more games can stand to do that. Fan service for both the ladies and the gents. Or gay men and lesbian women. Can't forget them either. They need their fan service too. Fan service for everybody, that's what I say. Um, let's check what Zavid's parts are. Uh, okay. Um, what about when I armatize with the wind? I have to reset all of these. Oh, you need BG4. That's why. To be arbitrized with four last gauge. I've been trying to do it with three. No wonder I've been screwing up so much. Okay. I was wondering, I was just like, why can't I do Mystic Arts while armatized anymore? And it turns out that I still can. I was just doing it with three blast gauge instead of four. Um because I'm dumb. Anyway. Enough of that. I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why would we tell you something like that? Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist up, Lila is- This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. How many of these stupid cutscenes are there? Hey, Zavid. I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. Shut and up, something Zavid. is? I told him, Please, let me marry your little sister! And he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. How many more of these cutscenes are there? I don't think I've just watched cutscenes the entire time from playing today. It all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. 
There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My bad, my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? You know, there's something I've been wondering. Is this another tutorial? Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earth and minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Is what I'd like to say, but I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. Ugh. Well, that took some time. Um, alright, so shall we go to... a place that isn't here? Let's fast travel, I'm lazy. Um... Oh wait, that takes us to the wrong end of Glaven Basin. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Um... This is where we want to go. Long way. This way. To the basin. And then, uh, I think we'll be done for the day. Maybe I wind step into the basin. I just wind stepped into the basin. So then, now what do we do? I think I'll just play this cutscene and then we can end. Probably. We'll see. It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright. Let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind.
enough of the purple star stuff. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go all the way back to where we started from. Goes there. Well, it's pasture. Probably near fruit hunting ground. Um, let's go to Pearl Oats first, and then, if not, um, Drago entrance. Probably where we want to go. This domain, it's so strong. Heldolf is here. There's no mistaking it. The final showdown, huh? All right, let's save our game. We'll do the final showdown later. So have to go to at least one more place uh, that we haven't gone yet. The Great Camelot Bridge um, is where we haven't gone yet. That's probably coming up later. So this is probably not the final show, uh, final showdown, um, but in any case, uh, I think it's time for us to call this play session to a close. So I am going to turn off this game now. Thank you for watching me play this game, and good night.